Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a dictionary. And there we go. And let's hit enter. And let's see what's in it. It worked. I want to print it out. But I want to print out the first of the two parts. Let's take a look at this. Here's part A. Here's one. I'll call this the zeroth, or oneth, and the twoth part. They're all related to each other. There's the first part, and then there's the next part. First part, and the next part. First part, and the next part. That'll come in handy in a few minutes. I'm going to print this out now, but I'm going to print out the first part. Those are the keys. Two, three, and one. Those are the keys. The guys before the colons. So I'm going to tell the system to do the following. For A in, well, here's my dictionary X. Go through X. Only look at the keys. For each one of those, A will be equal to 2 the first time, then 3 the next time, then 1 the next time. Print out whatever is in A. Here we go. Enter, enter, two, three, and one. Worked perfectly. How did that happen? He jumped into X, looked at this object, and said, Keys, huh? That's the two. Assigns two to A, prints out A, and there it is. He grabs the next guy and says, I'm going to grab the keys. So this guy's key is 3. He prints that out. Puts that in A, prints that out. Then goes to the next guy. I'm only going to go for X's keys. So this is the key for those two guys. Puts that into A, prints out A, and there's your 1. All well and good. Now I want to print out the values. That's the second one. Dos, tres, and uno. Those are the values. So I can for A in oh, X, I'm only going to look at your values. Take the values one at a time, put them into A, and then print out A. That's what this is going to do. For each one of the values in X. So it'll print out this guy, this guy, and this guy. Here we go. Dos, tres, and uno. So, A first grabs the first one, and just the value. Dos, puts that into A, prints out A, there's dos. Grabs the next one. Oop, no, just want the values. Puts that into A, prints it out, there's tres. Goes to the next one over here. Oh, no, just the values. Uno. Puts that into A. Prints out A. There's Uno. And it worked like a gem. Now on the next one, I'm going to refer to the key as the first guy, and the value as the next guy. First guy, next guy. First guy, next guy. But, really, be cognizant that really means key, value. Key, value. Key, value. All right. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say for each A in X, I want you to do the following. Well, first I want you to print out these two placeholders, which I have within double quotes. And I'll call the first placeholder first, which will be for this guy, and the Next placeholder, which this guy is pointing to, is N. N is within that placeholder, and that's going to be the next guy. These two, well, the first one, points to the next one. And this string is an object. It has properties. It has methods associated with it. 
let's call up one of those methods called the format method. In this format method, I'm going to grab some data, and then I'm going to place it into the first guy and the next guy placeholder. First thing I'm going to do is this. A goes through X. What is A pointing to? On the first go through, A is pointing to 2. So, I take A and I put it into the variable F. That will be transferred to here. 2 will go here. And you get an arrow pointing to what? The next placeholder with N in it, which stands for the next guy. But how do we tell the system that this is the next guy? This is how you do it. Comma. Uh, Mr. X? Yes. You know how uh, A is pointing to this fellow here? Uh, A is 2 right now. Yes. Well, Mr. X, the guy who A is pointing to, that's how you say dose. Because... 2 is pointing to dose. The guy that X, that the guy that A is pointing to, that's how you say it. Assign that to the variable N. This N will be placed here. So it'll say 2 arrow 2, 3 arrow 3, 1 arrow 1. Okay, let's see if it works. Wow. Two arrow dos. Three arrow tres. One arrow uno. Two points to dos. Three points to tres. And one points to uno. Wow. It worked like a gem. This is George Ball. Thanks so much for listening. And if you enjoyed this video, please rate it by clicking on the like button. I'd appreciate that. And I hope I'll, I hope to see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.